like so like few days before I, I, I was trying mm -hmm. just to align the price I say okay this one is a little bit higher like a bigger in size so I put it a little bit more than 1.35 mm -hmm. and uh, I was very scared I'm telling you the truth <laughs> because the market on that area was so bad so many properties on and the it's so volatile right now the market you, exactly. you don't know yesterday was something but today it's something my, different <laughs> yeah but my point is this client trusted me 100 percent and uh, he uh, you know follow my rules he said you know uh, my advice is mm -hmm. basically and he moved to our bnb uh, he did everything in his power i did all everything in my power and guess what i sold it for a price that was even matching with the peak point price in really? january february oh, yes wow. so he was so amazed with the results mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact another neighbor because he didn't expect it yeah he didn't I, expect I it so. that. that that was so yes. another neighbor from the same street this is the third home on the same street called me two days ago mm -hmm. and i did a, a listing presentations mm -hmm. and he tried to sell it to another agent and that was terminated because he didn't get a, the price that they they, they, they wanted mm -hmm. and they signed an agreement with me because they saw the um, you know the um, the benefits mm -hmm. and the full service and the value and the value Absolutely. of my services and they say you know what we want the best for our home and we follow what your our advices today as i said at six o'clock i will meet with them and my it's not going to be today because you are re we are recording right now but yeah. anyway but yeah yes, you yes, are but meeting the meeting the point, I, yes. and then you know i try to give them a quote and to mm -hmm. start working on that um, it, that's, it's that's, amazing that's amazing and what i'm i'm hearing actually Marius is like people needs to be realistic and oh, yeah. they have to not compare like January, February, February. March. To they have to forget, they, they have they to have erase to, uh, that one from yeah, their mind. Uh, yeah, so they have to be in the real, real world. Yeah, you know? because Absolutely. they are still 40% more it's than still a pre-COVID situation. So they have to set up like um, realistic expectations. expectations yes. And this is why it's good to do like a nice uh, conversation with you or yeah. uh, somebody in the field and do like research. Honestly, if you go Google, you find a lot oh, of yeah. information. Oh, yeah. so, um, the information they'll receive it's only confirming what you are actually telling them right yeah second what i'm learning is your the clients who actually um trust you 100 percent they've got the best prices oh yeah so it's 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 demonstrated it is not even like you, you know for sure and you you have the the, the formula for selling for the best price so you you know already so if they yeah. trust you they'll get the best price for that time not for the price somebody else sold because that you know sometimes that's the real problem because you're talking to a family you're talking to friends you know and you're learning different information and then you're like oh i want that but you can't anymore right you cannot that was back in january or february so yes. i think they have to be realistic they have yes. to be realistic and have realistic expectations. expectations. Like your last client, yeah. he had realistic expectation, but he got more he than, got he, was, more than because, he was actually expecting. Because you know what happened? If yes. you push your agent like to the limits and you ask him unrealistic yes. mm. uh, prices, unrealistic mm. uh, you know, scenarios, yes. then that agent is put in a position that he cannot act for you. Mm -hmm. He will act against you. Because yes. so you have be to forced. bond, you have to build a, a yeah, good relationship. A good relationship. Yes, absolutely. If yes. it's not a good team, um, you know, um, uh, between the seller and mm -hmm. the agent, then the results are, will be very It's very like in a marriage, marriage. Yes, exactly. If, if, yeah. if both in the couple, they, they, they go in the same direction, they have amazing results. Yes. And yes, if they don't, then you, you see, it's not what actually they're expecting so yeah. i think it's, it's pretty much the same so now for, uh, as a result of what's going on mm -hmm. you know uh, i'm not taking listings based on the price ever mm -hmm. because it was different when it was a big it was a good market and the prices were going up oh. all, you know and then you can say no probably if your neighbor sold for this price mm -hmm. i can guarantee that you that price no 
that period is gone. You you can't because so the market's now, moving so fast right now. It's what I what I can show people mm-hmm. when I go to the listing presentation, I have my whole portfolio. I mm-hmm. can I can show them 30 different um, you know listings that I sold for the best prices mm-hmm. from 5% more to 37% more than the second best, not than the average. Mm-hmm. So I said to my clients, I said these guys they listen to me. Mm-hmm. and they got an amazing results. Right now, because of the market, the, 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 the way the market is, so I cannot guarantee a price. But if you do the same thing, it's a, it's a very specific, you know, like, because I was a chess player, champion. So <laughs> in, in my old Romania, <laughs> in my old city. So yeah. if, you, if you do the same thing that I did for the other guys that I did amazing mm-hmm. results, we have to have, we must, we certain mm-hmm. will have the amazing results. So say, we have to do that. You have to do that, like you have to do the clutter. We have to do that, you know, the, um, uh, the uh, you know, uh, like customer reno- renovations. It, yes. We have to do the staging, staging and then we have to do the best marketing and then I can guarantee the best price. And if you are skipping one of these yes. steps, you are done. And to be available, because if they leave there, yeah, of course they have. That's to move. another thing. Yeah, they have to move. So you can't have so, so many showings so if somebody leaves. If you want the, the best house, price, yeah. you cannot live in that you, house. You, you can't. Why? Because you know the my point of view is if you want to get the best price, mm-hmm. you have to impress the potential buyers who they are coming in with all their senses. Absolutely. So yes. visual, olfactive sounds like yes. smelling, everything. They have to be at a top 10, like a number 10 out of mm-hmm. 10. If you live there, imagine you have to cook yeah. and it's a smell. Even you, if you don't if even, you, you clean, don't realize. You don't know. Yeah. You, you even if realize. you clean up, yeah. it's still, this, it's different. It's a smell. Absolutely. It's a smell. It's, it's so different. And when the, the, the buyer agent, when yes. they go in a house that the people, they live there, mm-hmm. even they, if they ate it like 10 hours ago or seven hours ago. No, it's, it's still it's a smell. Still there, yes. They don't realize yeah. because they live in that mm-hmm. house. But even if you do an amazing staging and if they smell, you know, the mm-hmm. you know, the cooking, you know, whatever they did, they are not putting it on. It's one hundred percent. It's not the same. One hundred percent. It's not the same. And I and I know because we, we sold our house, right? So we yeah. painted and oh my God, the, the the smell was amazing. It was amazing. You didn't even fresh. see the, the walls. Yeah. Before you actually you smell the the, the cleaners, the cl- because exactly. nobody actually lived there. We painted it. That's it. So nobody, you have to impress the you buyers have to, with, with everything, all the with senses, everything. absolutely visual, yes. Yes. you know, absolutely. olfactive, and you know all this touching, everything, everything. So if it's not yes. perfect, we are not selling that house not for the best price. For, for the, so for the, you can sell it for for a, exactly, for a yes. average price, but yes. uh, but then you <laughs> they are not happy. Yes, See, not that's happy. that's yeah. that's the thing. So, so you're, you're still, still oh, sorry, Mary, but you're still selling for the best price for the time. Oh yeah, being. for the time being. Even now, like yes. the last one sold that I sold, uh, told you, mm-hmm. I sold for the the best price, even in a good times, and I sold to another client in Barry like two three weeks mm-hmm. ago. Uh, he's a very well-known um, priest in our community. Uh, he's living in Romania in a couple of months. So sadly, as I said, we can say that because he, he or actually his wife put on a uh, Facebook, so it's public. So we can yes. actually say yes, that. Yes, exactly. We, <laughs> yes, because they already everybody knows yes, about it. I, absolutely. I, I so it's not. That. A, yes, it's not a secret anymore. It's not anymore. a secret mm-hmm. anymore. But I sold for the best price ever in that community, even after the Bailey prices, they dropped 15%. So I got the best price as, as in January, February, mm-hmm. because this gentleman and the wife, they listened to mm-hmm. my advice. Absolutely. So they trust me 100%. If you yes. don't trust me, yes. if you don't do exactly what I said, forget about the good price, forget about the best price. Maybe you sell for a reasonable mm-hmm. price. But not the best. Yeah, but then again, the, they're not happy, and it's not your fault. Oh no! It's it's, it's yeah. you know I so imagine how much is a rent? Let's say a rent for a month, what three thousand mm-hmm. dollars? So for three thousand dollars, okay, mm-hmm. some people they they take a risk on their property to sell it much less, Absolutely, maybe thirty thousand, yes. sixty thousand, one hundred thousand mm. for three thousand. Doesn't make any sense. No. Doesn't no. make any sense for But me. I don't think people see the numbers. I think they are just uh, comparing the neighbor, the family member who sold the house. 
and everything is subjective. And like yeah. you said, it's like a drama, really. It's but like they, a, they were in different circumstances. Like maybe exactly. They were they one, one month ago, two months ago. Information when the house, together. Yeah, that's, when the market was much better than today. Absolutely. And I so think that's the main. It's, it's so sad. But um, if you look on my Facebook in the last two years, you know, I put almost all the sold prices that I took. Mm-hmm. And all, always I sell for much more than competition. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I have these three rules. You know, do the renovation first. Mm-hmm. You know, do the decluttering. I do it for you, no problem, as your client, mm-hmm. as you're my client. Uh, then full staging with no uh, payment upfront. I will mm-hmm. absorb all this. Uh, you know all the payments and all the um, you know uh, and then we do the full uh, cleaning mm-hmm. and the full um, uh, as I say staging and 3d virtual tool drone video and etc but they have to live in a different place they can not live in a house this is the most important thing yes it's yeah we, we can't stress enough honestly we can yeah